Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me start by saying that uh, this would be a theoretical level of a much more comprehensive approach. Um, I have with my colleagues, and I feel quite comfortable by the fact that uh, my colleagues and fine ladies, uh, you see, uh, they are not in the room. My background as a macroeconomist is simply incomplete for such a paper. Uh, Their backgrounds as sociologists uh, and psychologists. Um, however, uh, I must confess that uh, we had uh, plenty of uh, empirical data from the Center of uh, University Development, uh, data that uh, covered both uh, our university and uh, the uh, uh, general framework of uh, this paper. Well, uh, you notice maybe in the subtitle that we use the word, uh, the word uh, triangulation. Uh, this is uh, uh, a uh, word that uh, really uh, takes over in social sciences and this is because uh, life sciences uh, used it uh, since uh, uh, it was discovered that it's uh, one of the most, if not the most, uh, stable shape. So, uh, social sciences uh, um, discovered the lots of application of uh, triangulation and I gave you uh, here, uh, only two brief examples after the Lisbon agenda was adopted. Uh, everything in education was uh, uh, considered in this uh, triangular shape of framework of uh, um, uh, education, research, and innovation. Excellence uh, uh, can fall under this uh, uh, more comprehensive path uh, of innovation. Or the uh, National Association for uh, College Admission and Counseling in the United States used also a triangulation. Um, uh, approach to the mission officer and guidance consultant. Well, of course, we tried a sui generis definition for the kind of uh, triangulation we uh, uh, would like to use in our research, and at this point, we introduce uh, the term uh, higher education landscape, which definitely we should read only one L. Uh, at this point, I have to tell you that we uh, uh, wanted to use uh, higher education environment, but we discovered that uh, uh, higher education landscape is uh, a widely used uh, term. But at this point, and keeping in mind what our rector said uh, this morning, I think uh, uh, we should have to stick with university. University uh, really uh, appeals uh, to be much more than uh, both these terms. So, uh, let's start a bit with uh, this higher education uh, landscape, and uh, at uh, this point, uh, uh, you see here six bullets, and these are uh, more or less uh, rhetorical slash non-rhetorical, depending on, on how you want to uh, interpret this uh, question. Uh, but uh, uh, it's uh, obvious that uh, uh, we have to, uh, to address the pick uh, out of uh, these bullets uh, the number three bullet and uh, uh, to tell you that uh, uh, we conducted uh, uh, this research on how uh, deep uh, was influence our curricula by the feedback uh, from our uh, graduates and it turns out that it is only in IT and in language programs that uh, we have uh, relevant feedback and uh, uh, I would uh, make uh, this kind of uh, statement in comparison with the international framework uh, and in this general framework uh, it is well known uh, uh, to those working in this area that for instance in Japan uh, most successful and 
fight that uh, uh, on the brain one to uh, by uh, higher education uh, uh, landscape to be uh, uh, to be embedded in uh, this knowledge society, which is a high hierarchical uh, or uh, uh, again uh, to the uh, uh, European uh, higher education area, which is uh, again a concept uh, that uh, uh, is still uh, quite fuzzy. Um, now let me let me just skip a bit and uh, uh, be a little more, more specific uh, about the uh, context of, uh, uh, of the Babajoy University. Uh, again, we took uh, this uh, European EU type of uh, um, approach, education, research, and uh, innovation, and we tried to, to see how the uh, university is uh, really uh, operational. conservative manner, general education and research are conducted uh, um, uh, in this manner. This is uh, definitely an uh, uh, institutional approach. Uh, and what you lack here is, of course, the uh, uh, bullets uh, concerning uh, the stakeholders, because, uh, of course, uh, uh, the higher education landscape is uh, uh, somehow uh, Final shape by uh, more by stakeholders than uh, by the university themselves. Well, this, at least at, uh, at this point, it's, it's also, uh, let's say, an endogenous view of uh, uh, how this university landscape is created. And uh, I can elaborate a lot about uh, what, uh, uh, especially uh, uh, for the last uh, layer uh, of ideas, innovation, of what these uh, Center for University Development or what uh, uh, the uh, departments uh, are doing uh, or not doing, uh, what is accomplished and what is not accomplished is interdisciplinary. We are really proud and we stay all the time interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary, but it uh, seems uh, this is really a weak approach or uh, let's say about uh, postdoctoral uh, programs which are uh, definitely uh, by the capital of excellence. Now let me just uh, Pass to the very core of uh, our research, and uh, well, this must be the subconscious that work in me because I said the university side, I would say uh, a higher education side, and uh, we worked uh, actually for the uh, all the three uh, corners. Uh, see what I mean in the same uh, um, uh, methodological framework, meaning uh, having assumptions. Preliminary conclusions, uh, um, uh, determining the accountability of uh, uh, that specific corner, and uh, uh, let's say uh, formulating a couple of uh, operational methods. Uh, when uh, I'm saying that uh, the assumption is that uh, the higher education institutions are supposed to educate autonomous learners, uh, uh, we had in mind, uh, and I certainly hope I'm not too pathetic, saying that. Uh, uh, we always have in mind the, uh, the um, words of Einstein who said nowadays uh, imagination uh, beats knowledge. Um, and uh, uh, I think this is the first assumption from, from our side. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> as a preliminary conclusion, we can say that uh, uh, simply uh, graduates uh, uh, are educated to develop uh, general competencies fields, not areas, larger fields, um, and uh, uh, all kinds of skills uh, uh, to be, uh, let's say, uh, uh, valid, professionally valid, uh, uh, all uh, across the society and uh, uh, business uh, environment. Uh, but it seems at this point there is uh, um, an accountability that is uh, uh, definitely limited to the uh, outside uh, uh, of uh, the higher education perspective. Uh, and uh, the efficiency is uh, somehow dramatically uh, uh, narrowed uh, 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 in terms of employability. Uh, uh, well, uh, this is uh, definitely uh, something that uh, is uh, 
always uh, uh, blame on universities, on higher education institutions. They do not uh, fit uh, in this uh, uh, overall employability mechanism. Well, what kind of uh, uh, mechanism we discovered? We uh, discovered uh, uh, the acceptance, the non interpreted acceptance of labor market statements. Um, well, uh, and this is uh, probably the saddest and, uh, uh, <coughs> let's say, the, uh, uh, the worst uh, situation when the university uh, simply uh, got the trust of whatever the market has to say and uh, they not react. Uh, well, uh, we have, uh, uh, and uh, those of you uh, belonging to this university, uh, that uh, we conducted uh, as a university all assessments of employability uh, using a certain kind of uh, econometrics and uh, this uh, uh, also uh, uh, contributed to uh, some rating of the university because uh, uh, if you remember um, we had a rating in this country conducted by the business environment and that specific rating uh, was really favorable to our university though in the classical ratings uh, uh, we uh, uh, scored uh, I think uh, in the second or third place um, well uh, there are also uh, relevant uh, uh, scale means uh, uh, tracking the after graduation of uh, uh, I have to say uh, these are conducted uh, in this university mainly after a level and we do not uh, have uh, uh, MA, uh, uh, master, uh, post-master level, and uh, 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 that, that will be critical uh, in the next couple of, uh, of years. And, uh, of course, uh, mm, uh, uh, there is uh, also, uh, there are uh, also some attempts to, um, to, to, to develop uh, some, uh, some uh, more comprehensive strategic frameworks uh, in this respect. Uh, this is what a typical university can, uh, would do, uh, and uh, uh, I'm kind of uh, proud to say that uh, our university did uh, whatever was consistent with the uh, international literature in this respect. Now, let's get to, the, uh, to another quarter of the triangle, and that's the educational output. Well, it might that this term of uh, output uh, would be uh, maybe not quite offending, but uh, quite offensive uh, <coughs> when you brand graduates as uh, simply output. But keep in mind, I'm always perfect, and I'm an economist, so I just use a very uh, uh, specific uh, jargon uh, of my uh, uh, profession. Uh, well, uh, it's obvious that uh, graduates want to fit uh, in the labor market. Uh, in mind that this kind of uh, um, assessment uh, is uh, somehow biased by uh, the fact that uh, we conducted our research during the last uh, couple of uh, months, so uh, it's uh, still uh, high prices. Uh, that's why uh, everybody's, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, pessimistic about uh, uh, this lag in the university view and uh, the uh, graduate's view. Uh, well, the preliminary conclusion, the, uh, the strongest preliminary conclusion uh, is that uh, uh, all our graduates want more exposure to uh, real life, to practices, uh, more differentiation, uh, which is uh, somehow paradoxically uh, because uh, uh, they want to fit in all positions, but uh, uh, once they get in a certain position, uh, uh, they are uh, reproaching the fact that uh, they are, do not get more narrow your, uh, let's say, uh, each kind of uh, uh, assets. Um, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, uh, all of them uh, want more uh, international exposure. When it comes to the accountability of uh, uh, this quarter of the triangle, uh, I would say, um, again, keeping a very, uh, let's say, uh, trying to keep a very objective perspective, that is quite a little. Um, it um, uh, would take definitely a very large cohort uh, of graduates to reach uh, this uh, level of significance uh, to say that uh, uh, we can count on this kind of uh, 
funding and uh, the reach for the uh, university and in this respect we were definitely not very successful uh, to identify uh, those uh,
relying on the uh, equilibrium uh, induced by the labor market, uh, uh, we fall uh, under the, uh, uh, this customer buyer pattern, which uh, you might say uh, I used when I uh, used the fair term uh, output, but uh, definitely uh, that's, uh, that's a bit more complicated. Uh, we uh, also could uh, say as a conclusion that uh, uh, the um, uh, education output and labor market uh, uh, considered uh, as uh, themselves uh, have limited uh, effects uh, uh, just because we do not have institutional uh, and uh, let me give you a very bad example uh, even the proper statistics lack uh, just because there is uh, no framework at this point uh, and of course regulation from higher education institution from the system is uh, in most cases biased because uh, everybody wants to, uh, let's say, to, 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 to look uh, in a better shape than, uh, uh, than we are. Of course, the last question is a highly rhetorical one. Thank you very much. Thank you.